The other day, KDH released a video called Guitar Marketing Sucks. Now, if you don't know who KDH is, he's another guitar YouTuber with some really good content. And in his most recent video, he talked about how the well-established YouTubers release the same video of the same product on the same day as the product release date, saying the th same thing about it, and it may be ruining the industry. And that's not a new thing. It's, it's been going on for a long time. Now, I'm not trying to ride KDH's coattails here because he's got a ton more subscribers than I do, and I probably ever will. But I noticed exactly what he was saying, and it really has me thinking about how much I distrust these big reviewers that I once kind of looked up to. And maybe you should too, I don't know. But that's just my opinion, and I'm not trying to tell anybody how to think. I do sponsored videos myself, uh, but it's kind of different for the smaller channels, and I'll get to that in a minute. Now, in some YouTube videos, you might see this up here in the upper left corner of the screen. It simply means the channel making the video is either paid a sponsored fee uh, or provided a product for free of charge for review or both. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a dishonest or an honest review either way. It's just mandatory to disclose for content creators receiving money for a product review. So the big YouTubers get sent products for review and sometimes get a sponsor fee, meaning not only are they provided the product for free of cost, they're paid to make the video, and sometimes it's a very considerable amount. They're good at what they do. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to take that away from them. They're very talented. But they started out, like anyone else, to get to that point, actually reviewing products with their own opinions. But now they're at the point where they're no longer reviewers. They're paid advertisers. Some even have a certain criterion to follow for the video, like when they can't and can drop it and what they can and cannot say. When I see 7 to 10 highly rated guitar YouTubers drop the same product video on the same day, saying almost the same thing, it's kind of annoying. It makes me uninterested in the product, and it makes me feel as though it's not something they necessarily have a passion for anymore as much as it's just another paycheck. As much as I love Boss products, and this recent one was a Boss product, they're notorious for being part of this, and in the last eight months or so, we've seen it quite a few times. Is it good marketing? I mean, it's putting the product out there to the masses for sure. And is it smart marketing? If it works as intended, I suppose. But the amount of ads we already watch on YouTube and everywhere else, I don't want every video about a new piece of gear to feel like a commercial rather than a review. Because most of these videos don't go into great detail on using the product, and I don't like to shell out a few hundred dollars on something if I don't know how it works or if I can even wrap my head around it. I would rather watch a non-sponsored review and maybe a detailed how-to video of a product from a smaller YouTuber than a flashy, overproduced demo commercial. But now, let's talk about the smaller YouTubers and sponsors, because it can work both ways. Small YouTubers can be dishonest with reviews too. Sometimes we get sent free products for review and some people think if they give a product a bad review, they won't get any more free gear or opportunities. So they either lie or they don't tell the complete truth. Now, gear reviews are good for small channels to gain views and subs regardless of whether they're good or bad. It may take some time to get some traction, but those videos do help establish a smaller channel, especially if you're honest with your reviews. Now, I've posted three sponsored videos in like the last few weeks, and I receive those products for free of charge, and I stand by those reviews. But I value my time and work, and I don't consider any of those products to be free. Sometimes I might spend over eight hours on a piece of gear, learning it, demoing it, recording it, editing it, and uploading that video, and it only turns out to be like a 6 to 13 minute long video for a $40 product. That's $5 an hour. Some companies even want you to buy the gear, do the review, and then they'll refund you the money when you post the video. And companies like to throw the word free into their collaboration offers as if they're doing you a favor. And sure, the word free holds a lot of power, but if you're making a quality video, it's not free at all, and the only one really benefiting is the gear company. It may not be an immediate benefit, but once the algorithm starts picking up your video and it starts gaining steam, they'll get all the benefit, and you're left with a piece of gear you may never use, and hopefully a little ad revenue. Some might even want you to throw their own Amazon affiliate link in the video instead of your own. For real. As a Small Potatoes YouTuber, it's 
not worth it to me sometimes. My integrity is much more important to me than some free stuff, and I already have a good job. I started doing this because I enjoyed it. I don't ever want it to feel like a job or where I feel pressured by anyone to say something I'm not comfortable with. I understand that it is literally some people's job, but guitar YouTube is already oversaturated enough as it is. And the bottom line is, we just need more honesty among reviewers, both big and small. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching.